Today I'm taking a look at the Fenersi Precision Intelligence Soldering Station. Standard power outlet in the back, it looks like that is fused. We got our power switch, that's a very tiny power switch on the back. And a five pin connector for the soldering iron. Looks like we have what might be a grounding pin here on the side. Looks like it might be a secondary option for that pin. And I do like that they put this row on top so you got a spot to put all your new tips. Here is our iron holder. This one has one thing that you don't normally get, which is a swivelable base. So what that means is if you have this thing closer to you, you can have them pointing more up and down. If you have it further away, you have it basically whatever angle you need so you can easily put that soldering iron in. We got our tip installers right here. We got more spots for holding tips. So there's quite a few different options for holding your tips. And we actually have a brass brush for cleaning our soldering iron. Whereas most of them are just those balls or maybe even the sponges. This is a style that you don't normally see. Very nice. We got all kinds of goodies in here. We got our instruction manual that is in full color. It looks like we have two different soldering irons. One thing I like to see is we have a nice silicone cable on here, so we don't have to worry about this thing getting in our way. So the two different sizes are for two different size tips. Both have very nice soft rubber grips on here, and we have got a ton of different tips. So if you take a look at the shafts, you can see some of these are larger than others, so that is going to be for the different size of soldering iron. But you can see we got chisel tips, we got pointed tips, we got curved tips, and we got thick boy tips. We also got a couple of arms on here. These have a square adapter on that, and that is going to be what goes in here. But it's really great having an option where we can hold on to our components, so we don't have to break out our whole kit. We'll have everything we need right here. So that's just a cap, so that we can put another one on the other side if we want. Very cool. So here we've got our cable holder so that has teeth. They're going to line up with the teeth on the side of the stand. And we just attach that with a thumb nut connector. So that's going to connect our stand to our station. So we're just going to take this and stick it in, and then we're going to use this to fully seat it. Now if this was hot and we didn't want to touch it, we could also use this to extract it. So very nice having that on there. So this is actually kind of nice. So we can have the switch permanently in the on position wherever we want to turn it on. We've got this button right here in the front we can actually use to turn it on. Okay. Wow, check that out. So that heats up super quick. We can see right here it is currently sleeping. That's going to go in standby. That's actually kind of nice. So it has a timer that's going to let us know when it's going to go into standby. And then we got the current tip up there. So very nice, very easy to redisplay. And it's not overloading us with too much information. So in settings, we got the step temperature. So what that is going to do is going to allow us whenever we hit the button, it's going to go by one degree, by five degrees, whatever you want it to do. So we could have that go up by 16 degrees each time we hit the button if we wanted to. Very cool. I'm going to go with 20. Temperature lock, so if you want to make sure that you're not going to accidentally hit anything and change the temp, we can do that. Sleep temp, so that's why it's 100 degrees right now, so we got it set in the station. It's going to stay at 100 degrees until we pull it out. Screen shutdown, so if we're going to be just running this thing and we don't need to actually look at the display. Standby switch, so if we put this thing away and we don't come back to it, we can have this thing automatically shut off. And right now it's currently set to 30 minutes. I'm actually going to bring that down to 15 minutes. And here we've got our shortcut. So the first temperature is 300 degrees. Then we got 330 and 360. I am going to make step two 350 because that is where I most commonly use my soldering irons. And then the second one I'll make 370. Okay, cool. And we can also use this to calibrate it. Screen brightness, the volume. If you do not like that beep being super loud, we can adjust that. And we can choose if you want Celsius or Fahrenheit. Cool. All right, so we are on sleep mode at 100 degrees. Oh yeah, that's cool. So that display changes quite a bit. Let's go ahead and see if this soaks up any solder. And it sure does, nice and easily. So that heats up super quick. I love this little pad right here. You never see something like that on a soldering iron. I hope all soldering irons go to that at some point. And right now I just want to make sure that I get some tin on here so that I am not damaging this tip because it is a very nice tip. So this is telling us how much power it's actually pulling in order to keep that 300 degrees. So if I put some more solder on there, Gonna pull right now, just pulling like 5% power, so basically nothing. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's cool. We actually have a graph display letting us know how much power it's pulling. That's really nice. 
Okay, so when I hit left and right, that is going to jump it by the preset that I put in there. I said 20 degrees, so it's going to 320. Next will be 340. And we can see on the top right here, this is going to be what it's set to. This is what it is currently actually at. That is a very nice station. Okay, let me go ahead and put some solder on here and put it to sleep. Okay, so it did pick that up right away, and it is currently going to sleep. That is very nice. So I'm going to throw in a couple of capacitors. I love how fast that thing heats up. Now all I have to do is trim off those leads and that would be ready to go. So I have tried a lot of different soldering stations, a lot of high-end soldering stations. This currently is my favorite soldering station. They implemented everything very well. The display is excellent. I love that they actually included this. I love that they put that wire in the back. The soldering iron heats up quick and works extremely well. This is a very nice soldering station. I'm happy with that.